It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Welcome to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. With your Bible in hand and your heart open to learn, let's join the teaching in progress. From the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verses 1 through 7. Solomon here giving wisdom and counsel to the youth of today to remember the Lord while they are young and to the seasoned citizens who are aging gracefully to encourage them that they are soon to meet the joy of the Lord that despite aging gracefully they will soon encounter the presence of the Lord. For this chapter also teaches on the brevity of life and how James chapter 4 verse 14 echoes this principle on how our life is but a vapor. It appeareth for a little while and then vanisheth away. Psalm 78 verse 39 states that he remembereth that we are but flesh, a wind that passeth away and cometh not again. And for the youth of today, it is critical that they have a perspective of eternity. It is crucial that they have a perspective on the aging process so that they can make the most of their time on this earth, fulfilling God's purpose rather than meandering and wandering, wondering what the will of God is for them, thinking that they have all the time in the world to experiment and to explore and to make decisions that will one day be of great consequence. And for those who are seasoned citizens, for them to realize that even though life is but a vapor, that they can be encouraged through the aging process to know that they are aging gracefully and one day closer to meet their maker and to one day be receiving the rewards and a brand new body. Verse 1 of chapter 12 teaches the youth to remember the Lord despite youth being filled with gaiety and folly, strength and play, believing that they are bulletproof and have no need of God and have no perspective of eternity. They are encouraged to reconcile themselves with the living God through Jesus Christ. For Solomon teaches in this chapter that just as the colors of the leaves change from season to season and one day fall to the ground, so too does man age and one day will stand before his maker. Verse 2 speaks that the light will soon go dim for those who age. Verse 3, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, speaks of the arms of the body growing weak. And the strong men shall bow themselves, speaks of the human body rolling of the shoulders. The grinders ceasing are because they are few, speaks of our teeth falling out one by one. And those that look out of the window be darkened, speaks of our eyes becoming dim due to age. Verse 4, the doors being shut in the streets speak to our mouth and ears, unable to speak like we used to, nor hear like we used to, when the sound of the grinding is low speaks of us chewing with our gums due to our lack of teeth. 
and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, speaking that the aged are easily startled by the slightest of noises, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low, not only the startling of sound, but the gaiety of music is not what it used to be. Verse 5, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, speaks of fear of heights. And for some, fearing the valley of the shadow of death, soon to meet their maker, especially if they are not right with God. Fears in the way speak of individuals that are not right with their maker and may be fearing the shadow of death. And the almond tree shall flourish, speaks of the gray hair in our head as the almond tree flourishes before most others in the season and the almonds falling out of the tree, speaking of our hair also falling out. And the grasshopper shall be a burden, speaks of the lightest of weight being hard to carry. And verse 5 concludes with the appetite being subsided, because it is a time to go to meet our maker and for individuals to mourn for us at the last. Verse 6 speaks of the silver cord being loosed, the spinal cord as if a knot is being untied and all things in our body become loose. The golden bowl being broken speaks of our head, the fragility of our skull. The pitcher being broken at the fountain speaks of our heart and the difficulty for it to be pumped as a well sometimes is difficult to bring up fresh water. And the wheel broken at the cistern speaks of the difficulty of the heart pumping blood as the difficulty of bringing fresh water from the cistern. The agent speaks of the agentness of the heart. Verse 7 speaks of man returning to the dust from which he was created and uh, the Spirit being accountable, returning to the Lord for either judgment or reward. Here in Ecclesiastes, individual youth are encouraged to know the Lord and uh, to reconcile themselves with the Lord and to reconcile themselves with the perspective of eternity, that they will age one day and the strength and the folly of youth will wane away and they will age one day over the seasons and will be closer to meet their maker. And for those who are our seasoned citizens, who are aging gracefully. Look back on the days of youth and folly, sometimes with a longing, can be encouraged to look forward that if we are born again, we are one day closer to being with the Lord. And the promises of Jesus Christ are true, for He is the resurrection and the life, and he that believeth on him shall never die. And we will be given a brand new body, eternal, immortal, to be with the Lord. As the scripture states in 1 Corinthians 15, Verse 53 through 55, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, 
where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? And on today, if you do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or if you have strayed away from his love and kindness, I invite you to pray with me this prayer, this prayer of rededication, this prayer of salvation. Won't you pray with me today? Oh God, I am a sinner. I have strayed away from your love and kindness. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that God raised him from the dead. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Save me today. Forgive me, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International. LCMI is a Christian non-denominational teaching ministry based solely on the Holy Bible, dedicated to pleasing God, glorifying Jesus Christ, and ensuring that the Bible is the foundation everything this ministry proclaims and endorses. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com. Please join us again next time for more Bible teaching. And remember, we have the victory through Jesus Christ.